Hi, I'm Janie's Been Found. This um, is my vlog about my TTC experience, having PCOS, having a bicornate or septate uterus, and also being lactose intolerant. So that means I have a very limited diet that I can um, safely get along with. Now, I haven't found a lot of videos with people with um, at least two of my three uh, problems in them, so I wanted to make a video for those of you who had similar issues that I have, and also um, because I need a little bit of support. My husband is in the military, and we are based in Europe, so I do not have a support system there that that will help me with this journey. Um, my sister also has PCOS, but she re recently had gastric bypass, and um, she does not take metformin. I'm on 2,000 milligrams of metformin a day, so my sister isn't. She's also not TTC, so um, we're not going down the same path. So it's while she understands, it's not the same. <laughs> Uh, we have been trying since December of 2011, 2010, 2010. So that's when I went off birth control. While I was on birth control, I had super regular periods every, um, it wasn't every 28 days, it was like every 29, 30 days. So I, I don't have a regular cycle. When I'm off medication, I do not cycle regularly at all. Um, so December I went off. I had regular periods until June. Beginning of June I had a regular period. And June is when we really started hardcore, you know, like when am I ovulating? Let's have sex then. Sorry, TMI. Um, so I need to remember to call it beep dancing. I'm sorry. Uh, so we started that in June. At the end of June, I had like this really weird, um, you know, like dark mucus, like bled for one day and was done. And then I didn't have another period until September. I think it was late September, uh, like September 28th or something. And then, um, and then I wound up having another period at the end of November. November or October, I don't remember now, looking at it, it was like 90 days, um, 90 cycle days, and then it was 78 cycle days, and then, um, and then it was like 38 cycle days, and that was when I had, we had pcs and I got into my new PCM, sorry for those of you who aren't military, um, basically I got a, a doctor's appointment at the place where I'm allowed to have doctor's appointments. <laughs> and um, she was like, wow, crazy cycles. And I'm like, yeah, I've always had a regular, crazy regular, it runs in the family, everybody has this. And she's like, okay. At this time, I didn't know my sister had PCOS, so um, it wasn't until after I got diagnosed that I told her, and she was like, oh, I have that too. And I'm like, thanks for telling me, that could have been helpful. Um, so my PCM like immediately said you have PCOS and I have run across a lot of doctors who saw my symptoms and like knew that I had super regular periods and like they didn't even go to PCOS so I was shocked when she was like you have PCOS and my husband did not believe that I had PCOS so they did blood work the blood work came back clean I was so upset because, and my doctor was upset because we knew that there's something wrong with me, but the blood work was perfect. I mean, my cholesterol was good. My thyroid was good. I was super worried about my thyroid. My mother has um, thyroid disease as well as my grandmother and like every woman on that set family. Everybody's got it. And there's a lot of women. <laughs> oh, my family's like rabbits. Um, I love them. And... So it came back clean and then we, she went ahead and she's like, okay, the next thing we can do is let's do a trans, let's do an ultrasound. And I said, okay, well in the military, when you get an ultrasound, you get a transvaginal ultrasound. So you get, um, the fun wand. 
Um, and actually, they get much better. I was talking to the ultrasound technician about why they do that, and she says they get much better pictures of what's going on, especially for some of us PCOSers who have a little more going on than, um, than muscle down there. So they get a better image. Um, so they did that. They went ahead and did that. And they saw that I have PCOS. I have one big cyst right now, or when I had the when I had the ultrasound done, I had one big cyst. So she immediately put me on two thousand milligrams of metformin, but that of course takes a couple of months to. Uh, you have to, it, you know, it, when you take metformin, it's a gradual step up program. So it took about I think it was four weeks until I was up to the two thousand milligrams which is apparently maximum dosage and a lot of you that are taking metformin aren't taking that much so I don't know why she gave me 2,000 milligrams but she did and so I take um, those pills and then I also which means like you cannot have a lot of carbs or you're sick you cannot have a lot of sugar or you're sick well, I'm also lactose intolerant, so I can't have any dairy or I get sick. <laughs> so it's all kind of the same thing. I know a lot of you can't handle the gastrointestinal issues that metformin has, but for me, um, sometimes think milk's in things that you wouldn't think milk's in, and so I'm pretty used to having those issues. And I have a hard time staying away from dairy because I love it. Although I am trying right now really to be very good about not going near dairy. I've been trying that for um, a few months now. I'm trying to be very, very good about not going near dairy because it irritates my husband when I'm sick. <laughs> um, we have been, we really, really want to have, my husband wants to have six kids. So um, I would be really happy with at least two but um, the problem I'm coming up with is right now we are um, TDY for those of you not in the military that is we are te he's temporarily assigned to another base and because we are strangely addicted to each other I came with him and so we um, so we are in the states right now but I'm not with my regular doctors so they couldn't do the um, MRI on me to find out what's wrong with my uterus and I'm just coming up with a lot of problems like that so there's gonna be like three or four cycles that I'm probably not going to be able to get any medicated help for and um, that's kind of a little bit breaking my heart because for those of you who know that just feels like forever um, so it's going to be a while. So I'm just having a hard time with everyone getting pregnant and not crying when they tell me. <laughs> so um, I would love some support. So I'm sure I will make another video soon and I will talk to you guys later.